Well, hello there, YouTube. Hopefully, I'm recording here. I was just in the middle of level at my Vobin by getting some experience in on some spy missions, and I found the last major Grenier vault in the Galleon tile set that I need to talk to you guys about. So, here we are. I'm gonna call this vault I would call the uh, Grenier Conveyor Room. And this is actually one of the most Grenier amusing the vaults, I think. So, the alarms now, ah. and they will start yeah, I'm just showing the my. Uh, horrible hacking skills. Um, it would help. I appear to have almost a 100 millisecond ping today, which isn't uh, very nice. At any rate, so there are a couple different ways to go about this vault. First of all, there's absolutely nothing useful over here, although it's kind of pretty because there's you can't actually get down onto that conveyor belt that's running past that uh, window there. At any rate, so the vault's right right in there, and once you hack it, you get up, come out that door and you can be out very rapidly. But getting into the vault is a big difficulty. First of all, this door right here, a uh, little slide run, I'm not going to risk it, but a little slide run will usually actually get you straight through that vault without triggering the alarms. So you can go through there. The problem is then you actually have to fight your way through all of the uh, guards on the other side. Usually there's a couple of heavy units and a regular Xmas that's point is straight at that little hallway. So normally, I like to try and see if I can go through this back way, and it can be kind of interesting doing it this way because there's a lot of there's a lot of margin for error, particularly with a frame like Vobin, who doesn't have a high movement speed. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and juke these uh, conveyors that are turning on and off. Or actually, I could try doing this in a different way from usual, too, because I've been discovering there's more than one way to do this room. In fact, there's more like five different ways you can attempt to do this particular vault. Uh, let's see here. I'll do this the usual way, which involves waiting for a moment. Nah, you know what? I I'm going to do this like this. Oh, no. Oh, good. That's exactly where I wanted to land. Okay, so I'm on these pipes here from that far side, and if you notice now, I can actually start vaulting back and forth. Okay, this is this is easier. It is possible to make this jump by uh, walking up past the first level of the conveyor belt, and then while you're in between them, uh, jumping straight up using a uh, jump crouch jump technique. Or you can just do what I'm doing here, which is uh, walking up the pipes, and eventually you get up to this area up here. Now, that was a very long explanation get up to this area up here, but as you can see, now there's a little pipe, and it's always good to be careful, because if you pass Sweezy Mercury, there's always a trap somewhere along this pipe. So, slide under that. Ooh, about missed, about ran into it, but not quite. And now you're going to be able to go down and land on another set here. And if you notice, I can hop off the conveyor belt. That goes in the little curve there, and now I'm already in the vault room without having to hack through this door here. So that's always very convenient. There we go. Excellent work. Alright, and as I said earlier, that lets you, you can then walk straight out this little exit that opens up. Now, if I, I'm going to go through and show you the way you can do it uh, by going through and killing all the guards as well, because that's that'll be a lot easier for some people than trying to do the uh, little jumping and parkour in this room. Now, if you, you if you get that juked, which is pr actually pretty easy, it's a much higher chance than usual. Then you have this little hallway here, and you want to hide as its vicinity. Now there's let's see what we have in this room. We have a Xmas regulator. Woo! Thank you, Shade. I was not going to be out of the way of him. Let me see me there. What else do we have in this room? We have we have an Xmas regulator. We have an Arson Xmas. Looks like a regular Grenier unit. And probably some more stuff back behind doors here if I actually set off the alarm. So I'm going to see if I can do that. Hey, regular Xmas. See me. Ow. God. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay. Well, we'll let the guy dial in. There we go. See this this level this is just ticklicious in this, so it's not it's not impossible. But normally when you set up that regular, you actually end up with about three or four units pouring out of that door back there as well. So you have to be very careful to take out the regulator first and take out all other units waiting for you before you can then hack this 
the security panel here to open the door and get back in here. Like I said, um, I like coming through the top a lot better because all I have to do is you have to uh, juke across here. You just have to juke across here and then find some whatever parkour path you like best. I'll start doing it this way from now on. Whoa! Yep. Find whatever parkour path you like best. Like I said, you can also make a jump from here on the conveyor belt, and that's you. That's a one nice one-step thing. You just have to find a way to juke the conveyor belt. Uh, to get up here, and then the, uh, all but the very highest levels, uh, you can drop down here. Now, I will point out that if you do manage to set off the alarm, though, there is a plate that comes out and blocks off this little triangle of space right in here. So you will have to find another way to get into the vault. Yeah, this, like I said, this is actually one of the more amusing vaults to go through, because there's a conveyor belt up here. And there's a conveyor belt over there. I think that's the one that goes down angle and then yeah so that so there's all these different things that they're making and <laughs> apparently they need to incinerate every single one of them I don't think it makes a whole lot of sense but then again I'm not the grenier so whatever oops all right well that's all I got for you today peace out YouTube hurt the derp